Our play now takes us to the banks of the River Severn, where every year the spring tide brings with it the annual migration of young eels or elvers, a time of great opportunity for many, but for others, a time of unexpected danger. Sargasso by Simon Bovey. Well, does it feel like calm? It feels like a time warp from the 70s. <laughs> yeah. Whoever was in here before didn't do much in the way of decorating. Yeah, or cleaning. There's a hell of a lot to do. Well, that's what you get with houses like these. Ones we can afford anyway. That kitchen looks like someone's been dossing down in it. Hey, I've lived in worse. Besides, we'd change it. Yeah, it adds up though. Well, we wouldn't have to do it all at once. Room at a time. Anyway, we're not in a position to be fussy. Look out here! Oh, I didn't notice them from the kitchen. Have you ever seen so many daffodils? I don't mind doing the decorating, Rena. Oh, it could be lovely, couldn't it? It's a bit further to work for me, but it's closer for you. Uh, and it's not far from Dad. We've got to buy it for us, though. I know, I was just saying. What do you think about this wall being lilac and then in the hall it could be paler? <laughs> lilac? Why can't we just paint it all white? Because it would be like living in a fridge. Hey, I'll tell you what I could do. Build a frame in this chimney breast yeah. so we wouldn't need a wardrobe in here. Put a mirrored door on, you know, facing the window. Make the room feel bigger. <sighs> We'd be able to lie in bed and look out across the fields. No. You'll have to get up and cook my breakfast in the sparkling new kitchen I'll put in for you. You can put a kitchen in. What are you saying? I can't. I just don't want to put my marmite on the work surface and for it to go sliding into the cooker. Chicken? No! <laughs> no chicken! It would be so good, wouldn't it? It's almost 100,000. Yeah. Bloody deposit will take everything we have. Yeah, and then some. What do you think? I think the market will never be so low. If we don't know, then when will we? Never. <sighs> Come on. Let's make an offer. And how big is this house? It's only small. Two up, two down, really, but it's a lovely location. Just outside Newant. And it has a lot of potential. <laughs> what state is it in? Well, it's not brilliant. Hasn't been decorated for years. Mm, that'll take money to fix. Well, we'll do it ourselves. Can you? Do you know what you're doing, is what I mean. I can paint a room. <laughs> bit more to a house than that. Well, it's certainly got a lot more to offer than others we've seen, and it's the cheapest. Well, I hope it works out, love. Been a long time coming. I'm sorry we've been under your feet. You haven't. This is Sabrina's home. All I meant was... That... I'll get it. You both in? If this old man call I'm out, he'll just be complaining about poachers breaking his fences. Hello? Look, I didn't mean nothing. I just know what it was like when I was your age. I'm not a kid, Bruce. Is that right? Yeah, thanks. Hi. That was the estate agent. Yeah, and? Our offer was rejected. Oh, Why? No. I was just too low. If we had another five, they might reconsider. What? Might as well be another 25. It's been on the bloody market for over a year. They'd rather it stay empty. Well, there'll be other houses. What others? It's yuppies out of chelp them pushing the bloody prices back up. It's the deposit that cripples us. We just can't borrow enough. Well, look, I told you before I could borrow some against this house. Yeah, that's very sweet of you, Dad, but we couldn't let you do that. We'll pay our own way. As far as I can see, you're going nowhere without me throwing in. They say prices have come down. Can't say I've noticed. When I bought this house, it cost me 35000 Three bedrooms and an acre out back. Now, what would that cost now, eh? Still, even then, I needed two jobs to pay for it. But you do what you have to, don't you? I've got to see to the truck. You haven't finished. No, but enough, thanks. If he's not eating that, I'll have it. I'm going to be out all night, so I need stocking up. 
He's got a bit touchy, hasn't he? Well, sometimes you don't help. Me? He feels bad about being here. <gasps> what the hell is how he feels got to do with anything? It's what he does that matters. And he's doing his best. You know, if things aren't working, then there's no shame in moving on. Dad, I have moved on. I'm with Kevin. He makes me happy. That's all I want. Kevin? Oh, Sabrina thought you might like some pudding. Thanks. What's the problem? Keeps dying on me. It's plugs, I think. But at 12 quid each, I've got to nurse them on a bit longer. Mm, that's the trouble with Japanese, not built to last. Anything I can do to help? No. That's all I'm trying to do, you know. Help. Right. You know what your trouble is, don't you? Sure you're about to tell me? You can't tell your ladder from your snake. Yeah. Listen, lad. You're going to owe someone for something pretty much all your life, so you best choose that person wisely. I've already got an investment in you, so what's a bit more? Now, I'm going to turn in for an hour. I'm out all night, so uh, watch the noise, will you? Not so loud. No, can't wait the old bastard, can we? It's not very nice. Well, I'm getting tired of his lectures. I'm doing all I can. If there were other jobs around I could fit in, then I'd do them. I know that. He doesn't like me. He never has. That's all there is to say. If he didn't like you, we wouldn't be here. Maybe we should rent something. There are plenty of flats in Gloucester. We've been over this. You knew when you married me I'm a country girl. Something will come up. Yeah, probably when I'm too old to enjoy it. So what's your dad up to? Said he was out all night. It's Alver season. That's supposed to mean something to me. Eel fishing. Oh. Well, they're not proper eels. They're glass eels. Fry, really. Quite a delicacy. <laughs> delicacy? You wouldn't catch me eating them. <laughs> you couldn't afford them. They're anything up to £200 a kilo. <laughs> Some years they're more valuable than gold. Oh, bloody hell, what, for a fish? I know. I hate this time of year. Gets a bit wild west out there with poachers, and Dad's not as young as he used to be. Yeah. I wouldn't want to fight him. Say, why don't you have a go? Well, you are joking. No. Dad would show you the ropes, and an Elverin licence only costs about £70. Well, maybe I'll come with you. Mind you, we need two licences then. No, one to start with, and we see how we get on. And where am I going to find 70 quid for a licence when I can't afford parts for the truck? Well, we can scrape it together. There's a way forward somewhere. I just have to find it. Well, what does that mean? I don't know. If I did, I'd go do it. While I was out there, though, I was thinking. Maybe I could do some repairs on the side. You don't mean poach clients from work? No. Well, not as such. Yeah, I, I suppose I do. Oh, Kev. Well, right now people are looking to cut back. One of the Jevons boys more or less asked me to look at their combine under the counter. I thought I could advertise on the side of Tewkesbury. So Jowett's don't well, get The one. last thing you need is to upset the people you work for. Well, it makes more sense than fishing. At least I know one end of a spanner from the other. Uh, Debbie, pint of ruddles, please. Oh. You'll have to throw an ashtray at her, mate. Why the hell is it so busy? Someone died. You've got a bit of a cob on tonight, haven't you? No, we had another offer rejected today. Oh, crap, I'm sorry. What makes it such a choker was the house was perfect. It needed work, but I could, I could see us there, you know? Yeah. It felt right. There'd be yuppies out of Cheltenham. Always the same. Uh, Debbie! All the villagers are going the same way. It's got the stage where you can't spit in the road without hitting a beamer. Yeah, well, the sooner I get from under a father's feet, the better. I'm beginning to move around the place like I'm dodging sniper fire. <laughs> Debbie! Oi, Deb's girl, when you're ready. Less of the girl, Richard Tanner. Two pints of ruddles, please. Right. Busy tonight, isn't it? Looks like you've got a bunch of foreigners in. Yeah, that's the credit crunch for you. Yeah. All up from London or Birmingham for the Elvers. They drink bugger all and spread mud on the carpet. What, the Elvers? That's <laughs> 540. Thanks. I should have walked up to the Seven Boar. At least I can get served in there. Oh, Debs will treat you like a local eventually. Give her another five years. Well, if you want to sit, you'll have to stand. Cheers. Cheers. 
Oh, Rena was saying earlier there's money in these things. I didn't think it was like this. Well, Elvers? Oh, God, yeah. yeah. My dad used to go. Eels for breakfast and a few quid in his pocket. He yeah, packed it in with the cat, sir, but he used to say there were some blokes who'd make a grand annoy. Well, then he's a trawler. Huh? There's thousands of them, mate. You just dip a net. Not a rod. Well, they're only a couple of inches long. I mean, it's easy, really. Anyone could do it. Yeah, as you can tell by the look of half the cretins in here. Uh, I mean, look at that bloke. I bet he's never worn those wellies before. <laughs> and they can make a grand a night. Why, you fancy a go? Yeah, yeah, you do. I haven't got a net, though. No, I've got my <clears throat> dad's old nets and weeders. How much further? My trousers are salt. Ah, stop grousing, we're here. Yeah, this is a good spot. Cows have worn a path. What, we've got to go down there? I can't even see the bottom. Trust me, it's the river. I should have brought some better boots. Now dump the net and give me a hand, will you? Or never That's fair home. enough. What are you doing here? Uh, we're, uh, we're just out for a walk. A walk, you say? Hey, you picked a nice night for it. Well, we're uh, bird watching. <laughs> bird watching? <laughs> Oh, would that be eels? Either way, you're wasting your time. It's ours to waste. Oh, we can look somewhere else, though. They've got baseball bats. Yeah, this is a good spot. Listen to your friend there. As this pitch is taken. Well, I don't see anyone. We're here. Oh, when you own this stretch of river, do you? No. You? You even got a license? <laughs> no, I didn't think so. So, bugger off. Well, if we don't, Kevin. Well, that's not something you want to find out. Hey, 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 hey! We're going, we're going. Right, there's enough river out here for everyone, right? Come on, mate, let's go. Say hello to the boards for me. I don't think they're following. You okay? Just winded. What the hell was all that about? What? What? They had baseball bats, for God's sake. <coughs> and you were arguing the toss with them. Well, most people like that back down if you stand up to them. They're not used to it. No, 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 no. Most people like that beat you to a pulp and then blame your injuries on a strong breeze. I'm still shaking. Bird watching. <laughs> I was thinking on my feet. More than you were doing. But please, if that happens again, we just move, OK? Yeah, OK. OK? Yeah, Tam, no problem. Now, we came out here to fish, didn't we? Don't tell me I got wet for nothing. <sighs> All right, pass the nets down to me. Are you sure this is a net? Looks more like an old pram. I'll have you know those are family heirlooms. Oh! <laughs> oh! oh, man, that is cold! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the eel scared of, then. Yeah, yeah, well, well, let's see you do it, then. All right. You watch the bottom of the bank. The mud here sucks like an airplane toilet. Okay. Right, so... What do we do with this? We just dip it. That's why it's called a dip net, Einstein. Wade out, put it in the water and wait. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's cold. Oh. Peaceful here, isn't it? Yeah. No, I've never fished before. Maybe I should take it up. Oh, oh, oh. oh that is quite a current. Yeah, yeah, careful. Severin's a mean river. Did you know the Romans called it Sabrina? Mm. Yeah, I guess that's where your wife got her name. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Kind of thing Bruce would do. Hmm. <clears throat> Right, okay, that should do it. Let's see what we got. I've got something. Oh, it looks like mud. <laughs> Blimey, hardly a get rich quick scheme. Let me see. Oh, what a tiny. 
I didn't think they'd look like that. I imagined them all sort of green and slimy, like little snakes. But they look like they're, like they're made of glass. You can see their blood. So, so delicate. So expensive. How much do you think they're worth? Well, it's only a few grams. Mm, enough for a couple of pints, maybe? Well, let's catch some more. <laughs> you do it once, all of a sudden you're Robson Green. But Kev, I'm a vertical puddle. There's bits of me I can't feel I'm praying I haven't lost in the river. <laughs> but let, let's call it a night, eh? Yeah. Yeah, OK. Rain will be wondering where I've got to. So what do we do with them? Well, there'll be a buyer parked up on Bury Lane this time of year. There, what I tell you? It's Gold Rush, gotta cash in while they can. Here we go. Mate! Yes, gentlemen. Go on, Bucket. Yeah, a bad night. We'll be bearing three nights, you say. Full moon and a bore, that'll bring them in. Ah, that's uh, 36 grams. Well, what's that fetch? Grand total. Six pounds, twelve pence. Told you, a couple of points. <laughs> license number. What? Your net license. I have to make a note of it. Yeah, the, the license is... Uh... In the pack. I told you you'd need it. I need to see it, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's in the car. Yeah. Round the corner. Five minutes. You didn't mention that. I didn't know. Is he watching? No. Come on. <laughs> hey, Sleeping Beauty. Uh, hello. You're going to be late. What happened to you last night? Son and I had a few drinks. Why, in the middle of the field? You've seen your clothes. At least I assume that compost heap on the floor is your clothes. When the pub shut, we walked up the bridleway to Tans. You don't mind, do you? No, I was worried about you, that's all. You forgot your phone again. Yeah, I'm sorry. I would have called. I may be going over there again tonight. Well, you're not having an affair with him, are you? Oh, thanks for putting that picture in my head. <laughs> No, he's doing his house up and I said I'd help him out. Keeps my hand in for when we get our own place. Well, I was hoping you'd be in tonight so we can talk. Women don't realise how terrifying that sentence is. You're not pregnant, are you? Mm, yeah, great timing that would be. No! I want to talk about what we're going to do. We need a plan. Well, it's funny you should say that. Because a plan is exactly what I'm working on. Oh, yeah? What exactly? Hey, did Bruce name you Sabrina after the river? River? No, he's an Audrey Hepburn fan. He loved the film. Are you getting up or what? Or what? Come here. Oh. <coughs> Don't dangle her. Well, maybe not for much longer. It's got into you. Hey, where did you get that bruise? Looks nasty. Well, why don't you kiss it better for me? Morning. Thought you'd be at work already. Uh, I'm on my way. Oh, what's that smell? Mm -hmm. Sabrina loves this. Egg, bacon and elbows. Ooh. Caught them myself. Used to be a pauper's breakfast. Yeah? Where'd you catch them? Where my dad taught me to elbow. Good spot opposite Broadway Lane. All oh, right, That far. Might be enough if you want some. I don't think I could stomach eels this early in the morning. They're elbows. Be a year or two before they yellow eels. They change while they're here. They grow up. Yeah, well, good for them. Where have you been to get your boots so muddy? Oh, anyway, I've got to go. See ya. <laughs> Did you eat an extra bowl of stupid this morning? It was a disaster last night, man. Uh, yeah, but there must be another way to sell them. Well, my dad used to send them to a gangmaster, but I don't fancy doing that much. They're just as likely to rip you off. Yeah. 
How do you find them? Well, they find you. They're like those three dipsticks that put the frighteners on us last night. Mm. I'll tell you, Kev, they're all hard bastards. Yeah, well, I don't care how hard they think they are, as long as they can pay for the eels. What eels? You see that buyer's face last night? I thought he was going to charge us for getting his scales wet. We just dipped the nets once and got a handful that was worth six quid. Think what a night's work would make us. Plus, he said it was going to get better. Nah. If, if we'd got that money, then maybe I'd go again. Well, I'm going. Yeah, glutton for punishment, eh? Well, you'd best hang on to the nets, then. I've got some water wings, too, if you want them. <laughs> Sometimes you're funny. And then there's now. That's it. In you come. Go on, fellas. Damn it. Hi, Rena. Hey. Thought I'd see how the decorating was going. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. You all right? I can hardly hear you. Oh, that's uh, a bad line. What colour are you painting the place? Um, just white. Actually, love, I can't talk right now. I'm in the middle of something. Oh, OK. Well, take care. Miss you. Yeah, you're back soon. Bye. Oh, you guys don't know it, but you're going to make that woman very happy. Look who's crawled out of the mud. <laughs> I thought I told you to bugger off. Not from here, you didn't. Oh, well, I have interests all along here. You don't own this. Tonight I do. This is Wilts's farmland. I don't give a rat's ass whose land it is. At this moment, I own whoever's on it and whatever they catch. Yeah, it's easy to talk big when you've got a couple of blokes with baseball bats with you. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if I catch a cold, you can have that. Oh. Oh, you're a tad mouthy for a bloke on his own. No, no, my mate's here. He's just taken a leak. He's got his dad with him too. Oh, they both gone for a leak. Or is his dad there to shake it for us? <laughs> <laughs> Go on, sling it. All right, but I'm taking my catch. Oh, yeah? And where do you think you're going to sell it? I'll find a buyer. Will you now? Well, there's a bunch of bailiffs up the lane, so you better be quick about it. Or do you have that license now? What business is it of yours? All right, relax. You proved you got sand. Why don't you sell them to me? You? I run a gang along here, but I also pick up the odd waif and stray. I'm offering 180 quid a kilo. Take it or leave it. 180? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I'll take it. All right. Bill, you want to weigh that? This will just give you an estimate. There's the bucket and mortar to take off. You'll have to bring it up to be van at the top of the lane for that and your money. Three kilos, just over. Oh, I reckon that'd be about 400. <laughs> bloody hell. Great. God, I don't know, that's bloody great. So you're here tomorrow night? Are you kidding? Yeah, of course I am. Then I'll keep your pitch. But you sell to me, right? Why wouldn't I? Hmm. No reason at all. But breathe a word of this to anyone and... You'll never hold in it again. <laughs> You'll never hold anything again. Okay? Dad? Oh, no, it's me, love. Hiya. How'd you get on? All right. It's gone one. Why aren't you in bed? I can't when you're not here. It's a good job I don't work nights, then. We haven't been using our buckets of tans. Well, I rinsed them out. Hasn't he got any of his own? I don't know. Look, I want to grab a wash. You get back to bed. Who's Medina? Kevin? This is River Mud. Yeah? Oh, my father's daughter, I know what River Mud smells like. Well, what if it is? Well, how did he get in my bucket? What's that? What's it look like? Well, it looks like a lot of money. Yeah, 387 pounds. Tam paid you? Oh, yeah, in cash. Then where did it come from? 
God, don't look so worried. I've been over him tonight. Well, why didn't you say something? Dad will be thrilled. He can show you the good places. I've found good places. Just me and Annette. Okay, the first night with Dan was a waste of space. We only caught a handful and then we couldn't sell them because... Because we... Didn't have a licence. Yeah, yeah, but there was no harm oh, done. No harm done. If you'd been caught, you could have been fined at least £200, not to mention the risk of going to prison. Yeah, but I wasn't. Well, have you got one now? Oh, Kevin, my dad's a bailiff. How's it going to look if you're caught? His own son-in-law. I don't he'll care all that much for No, me. no. Don't you see how important this is to him? Not just because of his job, but as a Gloucester man. Elverin's a tradition, a part of the community here. I'm part of the community. Then act like one. Promise me you'll get a licence. This is all about keeping Daddy sweet, isn't it? Well, considering we're living in his house, yes. Yeah, and that's exactly why I'm doing this. Yes, I could get a licence, but that's what, 70 quid? And tomorrow I could catch nothing. Tonight could have been a fluke. I don't know what the hell I'm doing out there. I mean, I just waft the net and hope the eels will figure it out. I can't take the risk. Right now we need every penny. But we don't need you in trouble. Not again, Kevin. All right. All right, I'll get a bloody license. Who'd you sell them to, anyway? I met someone. Oh, God, you've got to be so careful. There are some bad types out there this time of year. I can look after myself. And they paid good money, didn't they? They're OK blokes. But it's safer with a license. You know, I thought you'd be more excited. Finally, I'm making some money. Some real money. And this was your idea in the first You're place. Not this way, not illegally. Yeah, well... Dad? Hello? Do you think he heard us? I don't know. You're back early. Grab my car keys for me, love. I've got to rush out. I wasn't expecting you back this early. No, I've got to get into Gloucester. Davy's been taken to the hospital. Is he all right? I don't know, thanks. He got beaten up at the river. Bad, I think. Someone used a baseball bat on him. A bat? You sure? The young lad with him saw it happen. You must have asked for it. Kevin? Oh, they wouldn't attack him for no reason. Wouldn't they? This is my world, lad. You're just passing through. So shut it. Hmm. Pass me the hex head, will you? Hey, do you hear about the magic tractor? Went down the lane and turned into a field. And you're not yourself today, are you? I noticed the improvement straight away. Uh, I'm okay. Just, you know, stuff. Oh, yeah, stuff. Right, yeah. How'd it go last night? Really good. Get out of it. Oh, 400 quid's worth of good. <gasps> no! You jammy bugger, you having me on? No. Oh, God. Talk about beginner's luck. Who'd you sell him to? Not that bloke in a lane? Those fellas that chased us <gasps> off. No way! Oh, I was bricking it half the night, though. <laughs> Kept thinking Bruce was going to pop up any minute. You going tonight? Tan. I'm going out for as long as it lasts. Does he want? I've been looking for you. Hey, you found me. What's up? Follow me. I need a hand with something. Shh. Hey, look. See there? Like a laser. That's a kingfisher. <laughs> Thing in there. Huh? <laughs> ah, every day is full of sights like that. Otters, mink, all kinds. That's why I love the job. Gets me up with grace in the morning. Oh, this time of year can be a bugger. We arrested six poachers last night. Stupid, when a license is so cheap. I was a bloke in hospital. All right. A bust arm, but it's not too bad. Thanks for asking. And look, I'm... I'm sorry I snapped last night. Stressful time. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's easy money down here, you see. 
Brings the worst out in people. You know, I've seen fellas take a haul worth ten grand. Don't be kidding. No. A few years back, man. Won't see the like of that again, I don't think. Helvers are on the endangered species list now. There's loads of them. Now, you see, you say these things, but you don't know, do you? It's overfishing, climate change. No one's sure, but the numbers are down 90-something percent. How come you're allowed to fish from then? Uh, we've tried to put a policy in place, but it's stuck with those prats in Europe. If we stop fishing today, it would take 60 years for stocks to recover. Three eel generations. I'll be dead by then, but you'll be here, you and your kids, perhaps. Or well, maybe. You want to stop here, don't you? What sort of a question's that? A simple one. Why'd you bring me here, Bruce? Here. Give me a hand, will you? What is it? It's a putt. What we call an eel trap round here. Mind, mind it's heavy. Easy. Good. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> ah, oh, steady there. <laughs> no, that's a beauty. A silver eel. Almost full grown. Oh, steady, steady, steady. <laughs> Did you know they can live to be 90? Ah, no, I didn't. Well, not many people do. Eels are a mysterious fish. Supernatural, even. Years ago, folks used to believe they sprung from the sun, shining through dew. Truth is more incredible than that. They come from the Sargasso Sea, thousands of miles out in the Atlantic. At least, we think so. No one's ever actually seen one there. So Sargasso, to me, has always been a fabled place where secrets go. And we all have secrets. Like how you got your muddy boots. That's my business, Bruce. I heard you arguing last night. Hard not to in that house. Yeah, well, that was a private conversation. If it's private, don't shout. I only heard one word, anyway. Illegally. Now, you wouldn't be mixing my daughter up in something, would you? You already know the answer to that. Rena's got a mind of her own. You've never liked me much, have you, eh? I like you well enough. What little I know of you, and what little I found out. And what does that mean? I'm a river bailiff, lad. I know people, police-type people. All right. I had some trouble. That's what we were talking about. Trouble? Yeah. I did a stupid thing, long before I came here. Wrong crowd. I did 12 months. OK, are you happy now? I'm as bad as you always thought I was. Sabrina knows? I have no secrets from her. Remember I told you Elvers become yellow eels in fresh water? Well, after 20 years, they turn silver. Mature adults like that one. And then they swim all those miles back to the Sargasso to breed. Come spring, you see these young uns, grass eels. We call them that because you can see through them. See their blood flowing. It's all about blood. That's all that matters. You winning? Bloody plugs. Gonna have to replace them. Do you fancy doing anything tonight? Rent a film? You know what I'm doing. Did you get the licence? I promised, didn't I? Can I see it? You don't believe me? I don't want to be in all night worrying about you, that's all. You don't have to worry. Well, no. I don't have to care about my dad getting beaten up or him catching you red-handed. It's gonna be okay. Doing it for us, remember? Is that right? Karina, so much of my life just... It just happened. Or, I, I don't know, I got sucked into things. But this moment, this moment is mine. Because for once, I know what I'm doing and why. I think I need to do this. 
Tonight, tonight I can feel it in my bones. I'm going to hit big, you'll see. I'll make you proud. I am proud. I'd be prouder still if you didn't go. Don't wait up, OK? Kevin, please, my dad's out there. No, where I'll be. And I've got someone send me a good pick. Well, who? Kevin, these people are dangerous. Kevin! Anyone? No. He's as good as his word. Oh, it's a beautiful night for it. That moon is like day. Makes us easier to spot by babies. Oh, that's positive. Oh, that's cold. A married man like you should go immersing his gonads in cold water. <laughs> now you tell me. What are you getting? Doesn't feel like much. I suppose we could be too late. There was a boar earlier. Mm. It might have pushed him past here already. I'm going to try further out. Easy, mate. The bed may shove away. The current's stronger here. Maybe that. Whoa! Oh, my neck just got heavier. You haven't scooped up some mud? Well, I don't think so. Oh, no, Tan. There's a weight of fish in here. I can feel them. We'll, we'll bring them in quick. We need to get as many as we can before they pass. Oh. God, I can hardly lift it. Whoa. <laughs> Bloody hell, you should see him. There must be hundreds. Yeah, you're not so loud, OK? I can't load myself. <laughs> How much money is that, do you think? It's got to be hundreds. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, we've struck the mother load in, mate. <laughs> we should have brought more buckets. How can there be so many? I don't understand it. How can there be so many? Hardly any in that path. Yeah, just as well. There's nothing left but our pockets to put them in. Look at them. <laughs> Shining like money. <laughs> Taking as many as this feels like a crime, license or not. If it makes you feel better, I'll pocket your share. <laughs> I don't feel that bad. You two had a good oh. night then. All along the bank here, blokes have been hauling it in. This is as good as it gets, eh? Makes a man feel a man making money from his own graft. Yeah, we've done all right, I reckon. I'm glad to hear it. But I can't offer the same price as last night. Market forces, you know. How much are we talking? 150 a kilo. That's still bloody good. Got to be over a grand in that tub alone. Oh, easy, I'd say. That's not bad for a night's walk. Yeah. Yeah? No. Same risk for the same product. So it should cost the same. Kevin! You could always just cave your heads in and take the lot for nothing. You could try. No, wait, there's no need for guilt. Shh. Environment mean you reckon guilt. There. Torches on the path. This van will belong to one of them, I bet. It's a prime spot. If you and the other constables go down the path, I'll take my lads down the sheep track. Right. No heroics, OK? No. But I want whoever broke Davy's arm. Oh, that's, that's me. Uh, you go on, I'll catch you up. What's up, love? Dad, where are you? I've been ringing and ringing. Well, I'm behind High Cross. What, what is it? It's Kevin. What's he done? He's out there somewhere on the river. He's over in. Poaching? Oh, I bloody knew it. I'll kill him. No, Dad, he's doing the wrong thing, but for all the right reasons. Well, what the hell's right about it? He's doing it for me. Listen, he said someone was keeping his pitch. That has to mean the gangmaster. If you see him, please, get him off the river. I can't turn a blind eye just because he's my son-in-law. Uh, then caution him, I don't know. Just send him home. Dad, he can't afford to be in trouble again. Oh, this is trouble. Let's get back. No. Half of them will be sneaking along the river. Trappers between them. So which way? Straight across the fields. We'll hit the road somewhere. Well, now you're getting it. Yeah, but what about our elvers? If the bailiffs find them, then pour them back in the river. Oh, sod your elvers. You want to get out of this? 
Follow me. Wait. No, wait. I can't leave them. Come on. Hide them in the bushes. If they miss them, we can pick them up later. All that money. Oh, come on, mate. It's time to go. I can't see a thing. There's a cattle track here. If we follow that, we'll be in there. Stop where you are. Oh, no. Stop, Bruce. There's torches behind us. And in front. Bailiffs. <laughs> Throw them. It's the only way. No way! Where's he going? Come on! Stop right there! Hey, dude! I said stop! Go on! Bruce! Oh, come on, man! There's nothing you can do! No, I've got to stop this! You bring the police this way! Kevin! You're getting nicked! Get off him! Get off him! What the hell are you playing at? I can't let you do that! Out of my way! You're killing him! Yeah, and what's it to you, huh? You kill a man over fish! Don't be bloody stupid, this is about money, you cretin! No! It's about blood! Yeah? Well, let's see what the colour of yours is! Ah. You've had this coming! Ah. Kevin! Ah. He knows you, does he? Uh. So you're a grass as well as an idiot, huh? No! It means I belong here! Yeah? Then you can stay ah. here! Uh, I told you you'd never hold a net again. Guilty! Uh, oh. Come on! Kevin. 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 Just bust my arm. Let me see. Oh my God. No, you might be lucky. It doesn't look too bad. Feels it to me. You don't look so good. No, you got a lucky one, eh? Well, ain't we a pair? I hope Rena doesn't think we did this to each other. <laughs> Name of Gilpin, was it? Yeah. Well, we got his number now. He won't get far. I'm sorry, Bruce. There's police here, you know. Yeah, look, I was You have the courage to help. That Gilpin would have done for me if you hadn't. So you were with me tonight. No one needs no more. Thanks. Sargasso, right? Where secrets go? They are over here. How are they? Well, they look all right. Oh. oh, I'm hurting. Yeah, you have no idea. It's a hell of a lot of Elvers, Kev. Yep. You know, Dad offered to cash him in for us on his license. Why would he do that? It's his way of saying thanks. He did that already. He just wants to help. I know. Look at them. They're amazing. They've come so far. No, if I'm going to owe your dad, then I thought something better he can do. What? He can show me the good places for Elverin. Legally. The way his dad showed him. Yeah. He can do that. So what do we do with this lot? I think we'll put them back. They've got a long way to go. In Sargasso by Simon Bovey, Kevin was played by Robert Lonsdale, Sabrina by Emily Wachter, and Bruce by Ian Gelder. Tam was Stuart McLaughlin, and Gilpin, Stephen Hogan. Other parts were played by Lizzie Watts, Matt Addis, and Benjamin Askew. The director was Mark Beebe.